Hey guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel and today's video is gonna be a chill video I'm just gonna sit here and talk about some stuff that I've been loving I would call this like a monthly favorites video But I don't really do these monthly and it's not the end of the month right now So these are just some of my current obsessions but without further ado, I'm gonna stop talking now and let's just get right into it. All right, starting off with fashion favorites. My current favorite fashion trend right now is the whole loafer slipper trend going on right now, which is super weird because I have always been a heels girl and obviously loafers are flat, but something about them, they're just super comfy. And I love that these ones have something a little bit unique going on. So these ones are made out of like a patent material, so they're really shiny. And then these ones obviously have the fur lining and the embroidered snake detail on the front. I will leave the links to these below. They're just a good go-to outfit for when you wanna be comfy, but still look cute. My next fashion favorite has been fishnet tights, and I've been wearing these under jeans and under skirts. I've post like Instagram pictures and stories with them all the time, so those of you who who follow me there know how much I love them but I just think they add a little something extra and edgy to your outfit. My last fashion obsession is something that I'm actually wearing right now and it is the jewelry pieces that I'm currently sporting. All of these pieces are from a store called Majuri. They are such an awesome jewelry website. They have the most beautiful, simple, minimal pieces that are high quality but still affordable. With jewelry, I find that it's either super, super cheap and it turns your skin green or it's very, very expensive and I can't afford that. So these pieces are kind of like a happy medium. They're really great quality. They're all like handcrafted and some of them are custom made but they still come at a relatively affordable price, which is awesome. The pieces that I have on right now are these earrings. This, these are the gold orbit earrings and they just have like a really nice geometric circle design with a little white sapphire. And then I'm also wearing two of their necklaces. The first one is this Spheres Choker, which is this gold dainty chain necklace. And then the pendant that I'm wearing is this tiny necklace that has three stones at the bottom just hang in there and I just love how classic these pieces are because you could wear them every day on their own or you can layer them with other necklaces which is something that I really like doing as well I really like that layered effect but today I'm just wearing the two necklaces so I will definitely leave the links to the pieces that I'm wearing right now in the description box below as well as a coupon code which will give you $20 off your purchase you definitely don't need to use it if you don't want to but it's there if you guys want to use it and I just definitely highly recommend that you do because Majuri is just awesome. Moving on to beauty favorites, my first beauty obsession is a little weird, but it is the whole soap brow thing. Now, I saw Desi Perkins do a video on this. She did kind of like a fluffy brow tutorial where she used soap before filling in her brows, and I was a little skeptical at first, but then when I tried it out, my world was changed. It just holds your brow hairs in place perfectly and it kind of defines them a little bit too so that even when you fill them in you don't get that blocky effect and you can still see like the individual hairs. Basically what I will do is I will take a spoolie, I'll wet it a little bit under the sink and then I'll scrape some of the soap like evenly distribute it around the spoolie, brush my brow hairs to go straight up and just kind of brush it all the way through my brows. And then once that's dry, I will just go in and fill in my brows as normal. So yeah, guys, soap brows. Don't knock it till you try it. My next beauty obsession has been the Bite Multi Sticks. You can wear these pretty much everywhere on your face. You can wear them on your eyes, your cheeks, your lips. Um, I currently have the shade Cashew on my lips, which is a really awesome, cool toned nude shade. And I just put a gloss over top of it because it does have sort of like a drier texture, but it's not dry on lips at all, like it's not uncomfortable. But the reason why it has that drier texture is because you wanna be able to like put it on your face. I actually do have five of my favorites right now. Obviously I have cashew on my lips right now, which is like my all time favorite, love cashew. And then I have almond, which sort of has more red undertones. So it's really great to use as like a blush. I also have brioche, which is a darker nude than this one that I'm wearing right now. And then I have blondie, which I use a lot to lighten some of my lipsticks. So let's say I'm wearing like almond and it's a little too red tone for me, I'll just layer some blondie on top and then it just kind of like mutes everything down. And then cream caramel is actually one that I really like to wear as an eyeshadow. I will use this as my crease shade a lot. Um, I'll just run like a fluffy crease, crease brush on the actual product and then I'll put it in my crease and it just adds a lot of warmth because it has sort of like a caramelly undertone. So I've been really loving these Bite Multi Sticks. I do have the full line so I will have to try some of these out but obviously 
the nudes just have my heart and soul. My last beauty obsession is a highlighter and recently I've been getting a lot of questions in my videos about my skin and how I make it look glowy and healthy and luminous and the secret is this product guys. This is the best highlighter I have ever tried. I'm obsessed with it. It is the Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion in the shade 01. There's also a 02. This one is slightly more like pinkish tone and then the 02 is more gold tone. So I feel like I will get the gold one for when I'm more tan, but like currently this is perfect for me. I don't even know how to describe what it does to your skin, but it's not super chunky, glittery, and metallic like some highlighters. I haven't really been into that recently. As you can see from my skin, it just gives it kind of like a glow glowy wet look almost it is just so good like i would drench myself in this if i could <laughs> these next couple of things are in the bath and shower category and of course we got to talk about lush um i've been really into bath bombs recently i've never been a bath type of person i've always just been like a shower and go but recently i've been relaxing and de-stressing in some baths with some of these lush bath bombs so the ones that i've been really liking are sex bomb this one has a really nice flower in the center i also really like twilight which is really pretty and then i also have some of their valentine's day collection um, this one is called Lover Lamp and it has these cute little hearts in it. It's so cute. And then I also have Love Struck, which is like um, molded to be a heart eyes emoji. But just as a general, I've just been loving bath. So that's that's what I'm gonna say for this section. Baths, guys. I'm a bath person now. For skincare, I have a couple different products, but they all kind of go together. So these two are from Bioderma, and this one is the Bioderma Cebium Pore Refiner. And it's basically, I'll just read what it says on the thing. It is corrective care for enlarged pores, and it's for skin with blemishes, and it just kind of refines the texture. And the first time you use this, you see results instantly. It was amazing. Like, I put this on the areas that I have large pores, so like around the nose, kind of in the forehead and chin zone. And then the next day, like, I could tell that my pores were like, smaller and then the texture that i had was gone ever since i saw immediate results i've just been using it ever since and then this one is the bioderma cbm matte control which is a shine control moisturizer for combination oily and sensitive skin so this is really cool because it is a moisturizer kind of like a gel formula but it doesn't make you oily and it controls your oils throughout the day. So it's really great for me because I have combination and oily skin. I especially get oily in the T-zone throughout the day. So what I will do is I'll put this on before putting on my makeup. Kind of locks in all the oils. It's really, really great. Okay, now on to my current TV and movie obsessions. So I know I've been talking about this a lot on social media, on Twitter, on Snapchat, on livestream, literally everywhere. But I feel like I haven't mentioned this on YouTube yet and I feel like it has to be official so I will admit it I am obsessed with La La Land I've watched it like three times I'm obsessed with the soundtrack I literally listen to it on loop on repeat multiple times a day and I just like it just gives me all the feels guys I also have been watching a lot of Netflix documentaries a few of the really good ones that I've watched recently are Amanda Knox which if you're into like murder mysteries and kind of dark creepy things you'd be very into that and then I also watched the minimalism documentary which was very like thought-provoking and made me think about my life choices a lot I also watched some like feel-good ones like the Dropbox which is about this man who basically has a Dropbox for um, people to drop their abandoned babies in and he takes care of them it like literally made me cry um, I also watched the True Cost, which is kind of an old one, but it's also very interesting. It's about fair trade and garment workers. If any of you guys have suggestions for Netflix documentaries that you think I should watch, leave them in the comments below because I will definitely watch them. I think tonight I'm going to watch the 13th. Um, that one was nominated for an Oscar, I believe, so it should be good. We're down to the last couple of categories, and usually I do a music favorite, but to be honest, guys, I've just been listening to the La La Land soundtrack, like, every 
moment of my day, so there's nothing really else I can contribute to this category. But other than that, like my miscellaneous favorites have been like stationary kind of things. So you guys already know that I'm like obsessed with my bullet journal. It is like my little baby. I carry this thing with me everywhere. But with this comes along like stationary. I've been buying like markers and highlighters. Just the other day I bought a 50 pack of Crayola markers. Look at how beautiful this is. Like is that not satisfying for anyone else? I feel so cool. Like as a kid getting that 50 pack of Crayola markers was my lifelong dream. So my goals have all been achieved. All right guys, so you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for listening to me talk about stuff that I've been loving. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and click that notification button so you can be a part of the notice squad. Don't forget, I will leave the links to everything in the description box below, but I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys.